Hey everyone, welcome to Kim Yin Yoga. I'm Kim and today we have a live session including severe pain of the lower back and sciatica. I'm laughing to keep from crying. Join me flat on the back and this session today is simply to help relieve the sciatic nerve and any lower back pain that you might be experiencing and you want to do everything very slowly gingerly or heading on back and the first thing you got to know is unless you are in communication with your healthcare professional and you know what's going on with your back your hips your whether you've got a bulging disc that's pushing against the sciatic nerve or you've got a decompression in the spine that's scrunching it or maybe a bone spur whatever you got going on you know what it is you know how this might help relieve it don't jump in here without that knowledge okay so i'm easing on back <laughs> and i know what's going on i've got an old 15 year old weightlifting injury on my back uh, that has decompressed part of the lower spine and from time to time it presses on the sciatic nerve. This can be very painful so <laughs> we're going to start flat on the back. There's two ways you can have the knees. They can be up like this or you can just heel toe heel toe out to the wide edge of the mat and let your knees fall in. I'm trying that. I often find that relief today. <laughs> it's it feels like extra on the right side, which is where I have the side. Okay, so I'm not going to do that. All right, we're just going to have some deep breaths here. This is the session that you want to do when you're in acute pain and you are just going to relieve some of that strain on the nerve. And that means opening up the spine. So we're laying on our backs and we're going to, I'm not going to just charlie horse the hips like I usually do, but I'm just going to push back a little bit, do this little minor mini to lift the pelvis and I'm pressing my lower back my, into the mat and I engage the core, Uddiyata Bandha, and I'm just going to do a little tiny lift. If I feel pain in anything that I'm doing, I stop. I do not go further. This isn't the yin yoga of find the edge and hold it. We're not doing that. We're just trying to help out a largest nerve in the body. <laughs> largest, thickest, longest nerve with the most ability to let us know when it's in trouble. Okay, I'm just lifting up. You know this ab move. We do it in the core exercise. But just the act of doing this is giving me relief to my spine. So I'm going to take a deep breath in. I'm not throwing my arms up over the back of my head. I'm just going to take a breath in. Relax the pelvis. Exhale. Lower back to the mat. Exhale it out. Deep breath in. Coming back down. Exhale it back up. Uddiyata Bandha. Navel to the back of the spine. Keeping my airway open. Deep breath in, last one. And I'm just going to exhale it out and just rest. I can feel my shoulder blades nestling under my upper back. There's no pain there. And I'm just finding a position where I do not feel uh, the excessive activation of the nerve, which can feel like numbness. It can feel like, sorry, on this side, numbness from the hip to the toe, shooting pains, burning. Sometimes it feels like ice water running down your leg. Makes it very uh, difficult to maintain any sort of leg function. So now we're giving it some relief. We're going to use a towel or a sarong or a belt. It doesn't matter if normally you can reach your foot up there and crank it right back over your head. This is not normal. This is the practice for abnormal where we're in pain. So 
whichever side is the one that's hurting, uh, that you've got the most pain on, help yourself out. Get your hands around your thigh and just bring the knee forward. You might find that this move, especially if it's sciatica, it doesn't hurt at all and it might actually bring some relief. You bring that foot forward and so far, Mike, I've just had zombie foot. I'm going to activate my foot and shoot energy out my heel. I'm taking my sarong and I'm looping it around like a little stirrup and I'm going to lift. Now, <laughs> again, when there's no inflamed nerve, your leg might be straight and going right up over your head, knee to nose. Uh, that's not what we're trying to achieve. Right now, we're trying to achieve relief. So, I'm going to bring it up to where I feel relief. This is actually so much better than when I uh, warmed up for the film. <laughs> because when I warmed up for the film, it was like here was my, actually about here was my max. Now, I'm finding I can actually, oh, it's shaking a little, poor <laughs> leggy. Uh, I can straighten my leg. I'm going to take some deep breaths here, only if you feel that relief. Again, if you're feeling increase nerve sensation, stop. But you might find that when the nerve sensation runs down your leg, that's the increase. But when you start to feel it contract back up towards the hip and the lower spine, you're really on the right track there. So we're just allowing for a little bend in the knee. And I might tag a little weight in my elbows, about 10% weight, maybe 20% weight pulling down and maybe another five or 10% weight isometric pushing my foot up. I'll feel an opening in the hip and the lower pelvis. It's very subtle and very gentle. You know, at the same time we're having these long, slow, deep breaths here, you can try slowly shifting a little weight over to the left leg or the opposite leg that you're working on slide that leg down. Now again, my, my warm-up one, I could not do that. I had to keep my leg up. That's okay now. It's okay for a minute. So take a deep breath here. And I'm going to mimic that activation of the foot with the uh, opposite leg, other leg, <laughs> pushing energy through the heel. Deep breath in. And exhale, let everything relax. I'm helping. <laughs> I'm not letting anything uh, function without my support because I know it can happen if we tweak that nerve. I don't want to scream in the front of the camera. It's like a horror film. Okay, <laughs> so we're going to slowly just bring the leg down, release the loop. And from here, you might want to lace maybe a little basket and try your isometric again where I'm keeping my knee in a certain position. It's not doesn't have to be right down on the chest like it might be normally. Keeping it out here and I'm pushing maybe 30% now because it's feeling better already. Pushing outward, the direction of my steeple pushing outward and my hands, that little nest around my shin is holding it in. Deep breath in. And exhale it out. I'm going to go ahead and let this leg come down. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just readjusting here. Holy moly. I'm doing the same thing on this side. I'm getting my strap. And this foot isn't hurting, but you'll be interested to see what happens when you start manipulating the other side of the pelvis. Do it slowly because you will find it's going to put some energy into the other side which might be very sore. So only take it to where you can and go ahead with your isometric and pushing that foot out, micro bend in the knee and I'm holding it in and I'm allowing for opening of the pelvis on that side. Now, you might be have a 
bent knee. This is kind of like happy baby when you get it down like that. But um, let's go ahead and just try to not leave this side behind. <laughs> and as you hold your foot here, wherever it's at, take the other hand and go ahead and gingerly allow this sciatic nerve activated side, shouldn't name it that, should I? This other side down and go ahead and see how it feels to flex through the flex the foot, push energy through the heel. Deep breath here. One more deep breath in. And gently let everything relax. I'm going to go ahead and draw the sciatica side up <laughs> because I know in this position I've got this kind of safety net for it and I want to keep that happening. I'm moving everything slowly because my lower back has copped it big time. Let's go ahead and nest this side. And because this side is not experiencing nerve pain, I'm going ahead and doing more like a 50% isometric where I'm pushing 50% of my energy into my nested hands, holding back with equal <laughs> amount so nothing moves. And I can feel my lumbar spine flattening into the mat. I'm going to go ahead and take a deep breath in. And I'm just going to peel up, see how it feels, peel up, peel up, peel up on the one side, more and more and more opening, and let it down, on an exhale, gently let the foot flat again. This little move, you take the heel of your hands, and if it suits your conformation, you're just going to push into the tops of your thighs and your hips and it's an automatic isometric because your feet are on the ground you can push into your feet a little I don't know if you can see that on the film but I'm pushing into my feet pushing into the tops of my legs this is not activating my very 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 sore back and spine at all it feels like relief because I'm creating space space for that poor little pinched pinched nerve. Give it a little breathing room, a little wiggle room. Deep breath in. Relax. Relax it down. We'll try that one more time. It is subtle and one of the most gentle tractions you can do for your lower back. So get your feet ready. Wiggle your toes a little bit. Deep breath in. Now exhale. I'm pushing into my feet feet pushing, which is actually rocking my thighs back towards me, and I am pushing into the tops of my thighs. I'm also pushing the back of my head into the mat, so I've got this three-way isometric activation going on. Deep breath in, holding it, and exhale it out. All right, one leg at a time, sore leg first, so we don't overdo. Just guide that knee up to where it feels all right. Guide the other. I like to clasp my toes <laughs> with my toes and you, try it first just in your hands. Try a little isometric here where I am pushing into my knees but my hands are holding back. I might flex my feet, point the feet, flex the feet. And if your spine and hips allow, make a little bang, go ahead and see about putting your elbow creases into, but notice I've come up to meet it because, yeah, I'm just coming up to meet it so I can reach, clasp, and go ahead and isometric into the knees. This is not causing pain at all for me. I said in one of the videos, I said, oh, I should be doing this when I'm in pain. Yeah, got my wish. Um, 
pushing into the elbow creases. Elbow creases are holding. And exhale it out. All right. Gently back down. And I'm going to come up and do one more thing. Usually I roll that way, uh, but what you will find with sciatica is you got to roll towards the sciatic nerve, not away from it. So I am rolling away from you guys to push up very slowly. Not tweaking. Oh, it's, it's okay. <laughs> and I'm just going to come into Dandasana. And slowly, <laughs> gingerly, let my leg down. It's okay. I keep checking in. Is this okay? Is this okay? Is this going to overdo? Notice we're not doing any weight-bearing things. <clears throat> That's really important. Okay. I am finding Dandasana. That hurt a little bit. Dandasana is all right. You might find back here a relief. That's fine. Actually, I'm going to stay back here because it is a relief. And all we're going to do is, I think they call this flossing the nerve. And I'm not 100% sure why. Uh, point the toes. Flex the toes. Point the toes flex the toes. If that causes zero pain, every move we do, we're going for zero increase of pain and hopefully a decrease. Just do this a couple times. Nice. And then I'm going to take my hand and scoop under my knee because, again, I'm not doing anything to upset that nerve any further. And I'm going to uh, we're going to go into a little bit of a twist, but instead of hooking over here and turning this way, all I'm going to do is wrap my forearms around my knee, straighten my spine, if that feels okay. This might be it for you, but if you can then turn the head towards the right, looking behind you, turn the head to the left, looking behind you, Deep breath in and let it go. Again, I am just releasing my leg down. Bringing this guy up. It doesn't experience pain, but you'd be surprised. Everything's connected. <laughs> so I'm grasping again. And I'll start this way, turning away, looking behind, and coming around. And looking behind, I can feel it when I go this way in my right hip. So I'm backing off a little bit. And exhale it out. Okay. I'm turning around to fix you. And you might be surprised that by now you can slide that leg over into a little baby, baby gomakasana and it feels totally supported. You may not. Sitting and standing, not great. <laughs> not one of the happy places. So we take it really easy. Do this session when you're in acute pain, but your healthcare professional has cleared you for these simple exercises, and I hope it brings you tremendous relief. Let me know how you go in the comments. Give it a thumbs up if things improve. Arms up over the head. Oh, feels good. Move your arms. <laughs> Thanks for practicing with me and being here in my pain. <laughs> Namaste.